Hello, and welcome to the inaugural presentation of the Pacific Lutheran University Film Society, Demon Hunters. This movie had a difficult shoot. We had to contend with limited resources, a shoestring budget, and multiple conflicting schedules. However, we did manage to pull it off in the end. <laughs> We would like to thank all of the talented students and teachers who helped make this production possible. We would also like to thank our sponsor, Cobbler's Crystals, who came in at the last moment to save our production. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Cobblers. Now we would like to take a moment to silence our critics. Some have accused us of having actually changed the movie in order to attract our beneficiary, Cobbler's Crystals, but the accusation is groundless. We have not, nor will we ever, cater to the interests of any corporate sponsor. That's right, Matt. There is no question that we owe the survival of this film to the folks at Cobblers, but it is absolutely false that we sold commercial time to enduring this film. Our critics should relax and enjoy a refreshing cup of Cobblers' classic original golden roast. Student productions often suffer from a lack of funds, and it is very common for altruistic companies to step in and donate money so that the students' visions may be completely and totally realized. Luckily, the nice folks at Cobblers, makers of the award-winning Cobblers Coffee Golden Roast, would never try to strong-arm their way into the movie. And while Cobblers Crystals has helped fund such other artistic endeavors as the Tacoma Art Museum's Rodin exhibit and the Narrows School District Vaudeville Resurrection, they would never resort to plugging previous deeds in order to boost sales. Our critics should do their homework before making false accusations. Thankfully, the morning coffee that four out of five Americans prefer will not stoop to suing for libel. So sit back and enjoy Demon Hunters, the first presentation of the Pacific Lutheran University Film Society. Brought to you by Cobbler's Crystals. Mm. Cobbler's Crystals. End of the first millennium AD, the demon Duoma Thrax the Indestructible butchered his way across Eastern Europe in an orgy of slaughter and death. In the year of our Lord, 999, the demon met his defeat outside Constantinople. Those who defeated him could not slay him, so they instead magically trapped his form in stone for 1,000 years. When Constantinople fell in 1457, the statue of Duomothrax and its history were lost. Hundreds of years passed before the statue was discovered in the catacombs beneath the city. It was auctioned off and purchased by a wealthy clergyman. In the year 1890, the statue was sent to the New World as a gift to a recently founded college. The founders of that institution found the statue profane and they boxed it and hid it in storage far beneath their library. One thousand years have passed since Duwama Thrax was imprisoned. Beneath the library, the demon awakes.
a great day this was. <sighs> I sent in the last payment for my car. The bank accepted my loan. I got accepted to that Harvard graduate school. I made 20 bucks off a scratch ticket. And I proposed to my dear Alice. And she accepted. Yup, yup, yup. This is the last day of me sweeping in this library basement. That's right. No more janitorial work for me. No, sir. Ah, what a great day. I don't think anything could possibly go wrong today. I do! Whose time has come. Taste quality value. You're late. Uh, I have a vegetarian pizza here for age middle four. Vegetarian? Yeah, vegetarian. Not for long. <laughs> Morons. Fools. Weak-minded idiot reporters such as these cannot fill my editorial needs. How will they propose to fill my precious newspaper space with their ill-conceived drivel? A box on them! Be gone, foul papers. Those who spawned thee were never meant to wield the pen. I shall remedy the situation and terminate all their positions. I terminate thee! I terminate thee! I terminate thee! I terminate thee! They shall never volunteer for my newspaper so long as I live! Suits me! I give. What? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Yes! We're getting married. To your high school boyfriend. Yes. The one you've broken up with and gotten back together with at least a dozen times. Yes. The one who neglects you and abuses you emotionally. Yes! You idiot! What are you thinking? We're in love. That's all that matters. You're in love. Or is it that you've been together so long that the idea of moving on terrifies you more than staying with someone who's obviously wrong for you? We're in love. You could personally set feminist progress back a hundred years. He's here. Come in, darling. You monster! Have a heart! How about his?
eyes look here red thing light flash hey 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 guys alarm alarm ow looks like we're getting a signal cypher i'm on it it's from one of the tracking satellites something new must have triggered it oh you've got to be kidding me oh shit what is it a werewolf vampire demon earthwalker Oh shit, indeed. Demon? Having some good hunting. Earthwalker? Is that possible? I didn't think there were any left. There aren't any left. On record. Are you certain that signal is genuine? Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. We've always known there were more demons out there than we had on record. But our ancestors guaranteed us that the uh, Last of the Earthwalkers was vanquished over a thousand years ago. How close is it? We could be there in less than a day. Wait a minute. You're not suggesting we go after it, are you? We'll be slaughtered. We should at least call for backup. Screw backup. This mother scratch is mine. I would not be too eager, Wolf. I know we're not going to wait for support. If we're going to take this demon, it has to be now. Remember, these guys get stronger with every victim. If we wait for backup, we're going to be too late. Fine. Cypher, tell me backup available to meet us there. Send them the coordinates. But still, seven of us against a demon? And not just any demon, an earthwalker? Are we really gonna go? Of course, gentlemen. Lady. We ride. Day. I've been in class, where I am every day. You seem tense. Is everything all right? Of course I'm tense. How could I not be tense with all those murders on campus last night? Katie, those are just rumors. You know how rumors travel around the campus? Remember that rumor about how, uh, how sex cures mono? They're just rumors. Rumors? Then why were all those policemen around this morning, huh? And why couldn't we get into the library or music building? I don't know. Maybe someone stole a book or burned some music. I, I don't know. If there were a problem on campus, the administration would tell us. Or they'd give us a memo. They care about us. Bullshit! There's something hideously wrong going on here, and the administration is covering it up. Honey, I don't Don't honey me, stick boy. Something's going down, and I'm not going down with it. Okay. 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 Are you all packed for our weekend together? Oh, yes. 
<gasps> Everything's gonna be so romantic. Uh -huh. Camping in an abandoned cabin mm -hmm. built on an Indian burial ground with inside of that lake where all those Satan worshippers were drowned. Let's uh -huh. go, I can't wait. Well, you're gonna have to. Wait, that is. Just for a little while. What do you mean? Well, I have to run down and turn in my time card to Jeff. Because he's the one that's covering for me this weekend. So we can go away together. I'll, I'll only be gone a short while. You're leaving me here alone? I'm only going to be gone an hour. I'll be back in less than an hour. And then we'll be off to Dead Camper Lake. No! Don't leave me here alone. What if something happens? The sun's going to be down before you come back. And what if something horrible happens? Nothing. Katie, Katie, it's okay. I promise nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll be back in less than an hour, and then we can leave. I promise nothing is gonna happen to you. Fine. But if I've been hideously decapitated or something before you get back, it's all your fault. Yes, Katie. It'll all be my fault. We're closing in five! Wait, wait, you... I ordered a burrito like a half an hour ago, man. Where is it? Dude, five minutes, okay? I'll get it for you in five minutes. Five minutes. It's working. Okay? All right. All right. Hey, Jeff, thanks a lot for covering me this weekend. No problem, man. No problem. Thank you. It'd be fun working a double shift while you and uh, Katie are boinking in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do a little bit of... Uh, trap the clamp. Uh. Warm the weasel. <laughs> Come on. Send that salmon to the spawning ground, baby. Spawn, baby, spawn! Oh, shut up, man. It's it, it's not like that. It's a lot hey, different hey, between um, Katie and I. Where's, where's my burrito? I'm making it right now, man. It's cooking as we speak, man. Five. I've got the timer. It's going. Five minutes. Okay. All right. God, I hate that guy. Every day he comes in here five minutes before closing and expects me to give him whatever he wants. Man, that pisses me off. Every day. Someday I'm just gonna, he's gonna come in here and just gonna kick his ass, man. Kick his ass. God, something wrong. Oh, I'm, I don't know, all those rumors that are going around campus. Do you think there's any truth to them? Rumors. Hey, dude, where's my burrito? Still cooking it. Still cooking. Got five minutes. Thanks. I don't know, man. All the uniforms around, man, kind of makes you wonder. Right, and the administration, I mean, they would tell us about rumors that scare people. Yeah. Do you remember how they sent out that memo last year about, yeah, about the Northwest beer shortage yeah. being alive? Yeah, man. Lower campus, almost revolted, uh -huh. man. If campus safety hadn't called martial law, woo! <laughs> true, true, so, so I don't know. Burrito, I guess it's... Dude, we're like DM Burrito, I want it now. All right, man. Put, five minutes. Put it out here. Five minutes. How five minutes. It's cooking, man. Burrito. It's cooking. It's cooking. I'll tell you when it's ready, okay? I'll I tell you. Me. Honestly, man, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you, man. Give it to you. Five Please, minutes. Don't touch five me. minutes, man. Just give me my burrito. Breathe. 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 There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. That's it. What were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about the rumors. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Hey, dude, where's my damn burrito? Where's my burrito? I got your fucking burrito right here! No! Ah! Uh, Jeff, thanks. Uh, right on! I got your burrito right here, Jeff! Okay, Jeff. for me to go pick up Katie and get me some honey loving. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. Forgot to turn in my time card. Now Katie will have to wait. Hey, Jeff, I haven't forgotten. Ah! 
Give me those giblets! Ah! <laughs> One's human! I do! I do! Stay down. I'll handle this. Yo, Hellboy! Somebody's gonna die and his initials are Y-O-U! You want a piece of me? Nah, bitch, I want the whole damn thing! I'll break you off some! Bring it! That thing is dead. I ain't stupid. Earth Walker, my Kirby ass. Oh, White Wolf, boot to the head! I just sneak that past him. Misdirection. Got him so focused on reaming my ass, you never saw it coming. Just one swift. Uh! <laughs> huh? Shake well before opening! <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> Satan rules. Wait for me! Wait for me! Let me in! Damn it, Wolf! Why'd you have to be so damn macho? What the doggy fuck's going on? It seems your campus has a substantial demon problem, my friend. Demon problem? You mean that red guy? <laughs> well, then who the hell are you? We represent the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch. Our job is to hunt down the night spawn. The, the demons? Not just demons, witches, werewolves, vampires, you name it. If it hunts the living, we hunt it. You're kidding, right? Demons, werewolves, vampires, they don't exist. Kid, did you drink a kind of dumbasses moroning? What do you think just butchered wolf, you little prick? But demons? This is too weird. Believe me, it gets a whole lot weirder. Who do you guys work for? The government? No, we work for who's really in charge. You guys work for Bill Gates? Steven Spielberg? Elvis in his secret underground bunker? Not Charlton Heston? No, but you're big fans. It couldn't be... Yes, God. This world is a battlefield, my friend. Spiritual warfare with mortal souls is the prize. As in any war, each side has its special agents. We just eliminate the other sides. So, you're like God's assassins. We prefer demon hunters. And, and you guys hunt demons like that? 
No, not like that. In fact, no one's hunted a demon like that for about a thousand years. The ones we're used to fall when shot and bleed like you and me. This one didn't. Why is that? He's not your average run-of-the-mill demon. He's an Earthwalker. Earthwalker? What does that mean? It means he walks the earth and he doesn't make his home in hell. Why is that? They kicked him out. What? Why? He was too mean. Damn! There were only a handful of Earthwalkers ever, and all those on record were hunted down before the end of the first millennium. Somewhere along the line, our order lost track of this one. So, how do we kill this one? Well, here's the thing. We can't. What? A knife to the head didn't even wound him. He played possum long enough to get wolf. All the normal weapons and methods will have no effect on him. All the rules on how to hunt Earthwalkers disappeared with the Earthwalkers over a thousand years ago. But there's got to be a way. He, he has to have one weakness. He does. Every Earthwalker has a weakness to a single substance. A plant, or a chemical, or a metal, anything. Well, do we have any chance of finding out that weakness? Little or none. If his weakness was on record, yes. But it's not, and neither is he. If we at least had his name, we could look up something in some of the old demonology guides, but we have nothing. Not necessarily. What's your name? Uh, I'm Chris. Well, Chris, I have a question for you. Right after you left that building, we saw the demon catch you. He lifted you up and I was sure you were dead. But then he, he dropped you and he clutched his eyes. What happened? Uh, I don't know. He screamed and dropped me. Retrace your steps. What do you remember? Well, before I saw the demon tear Jeff apart, um, I was on my way to turn in my time card. Good, good. Before that. Um, well, I was on my way to see my girlfriend. I just did my hair up all nice and shot my mouth full of breath fresh. Have you seen- OH MY GOD! STOP THE VAN! Right, Cypher, give me a candy bar. Katie! Katie! Katie, you're right! The rumors are true! There's this monster running around campus just endlessly killing people! This, this monster! It's... Demon! Actually! your seatbelt. What? <sighs> oh. That is so much better. Okay, come on, move it. You don't have to tell me twice. Is it 
gone? Uh, did we get it? I'll check. License and registration. This is your stuff. What are we gonna do now? We need to access the Brotherhood database. Uh, do you know of a place with a uh, phone jack, some power outlets, anything like that? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. No one comes here anymore. Katie and I used to come here and watch the sunset. We used to sit in this chair. Excellent. All right, everybody get to work. Cypher, go ahead and hook up your computer. See what you can get on the terminal. Everyone else, something useful to do. Roy, undo. I'm sorry about your girlfriend. Katie! God, I loved her. If it's any consolation, we've all lost people close to us. to call Katie's parents now and tell them she was eaten by a demon. Try not to focus on it. Think of what's still to come. We've lost two of our best hunters. We need every man we can get. Will you fight with us? Fuck no! Oh, fight with you. Okay, what do I do? Think, think back to right before you encountered the demon. He picked you up and it looked like he was about to bite your head off. We thought you were gone for sure. What? exactly happened before you met the demon. I was going to pick up Katie and sprayed my mouth with some breath freshener and walked up to the breath door. Breath freshener. That might be it. Do you still have that with you? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, there. Mint. Mint. Cypher? Get on the Brotherhood Terminal, check Mint in the Idiot's Guide to Demons, Demons A to Z, everything you wanted to know about demons but were afraid to ask. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, demons are from Hell in the Betty Crocker Cookbook. And look up Mint. I live to serve. Who's that guy? That's Albrecht. He does werewolves, like hat ropes, doppelgangers. Literally. Anything that changes shape, he knows how and where to find. And terminate. The man at the computer is the cipher. He's our electronics and encryption specialist. He knows 12 languages, reads and writes six more. He's our eyes and ears in the field. He hasn't been laid since 1983. Who's the, uh, chicken the vinyl? That's RM. RM? Rigor mortis. I work with the undead. Skeletons, ghost ghouls, and vampires. Can't forget the vampires. Thirsty? No. Um, no thanks. I just want you to know. I have nothing to say. That's Silent Jim. He's our best hunter. He never says a word, though. Right, Jim? Nope. Not a word. Wow. How do you manage? It's tough. Sometimes I really want to talk to people. 
tell them how I feel, speak my mind. But then I remember, that's not me. I'm Silent Jim. So then, who are you? I'm Gabriel, leader of this chapter of the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch. I'm in charge of the Divine. And you guys hunt demons for a living? More or less. I, I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Got something. Mm. Well, what is it? A name. Dwammer Thrax the Indestructible. Nice name. That's not all. Dwammer Thrax the Indestructible, drinker of souls, render of flesh, hunter of the living, impaler of the innocent, scourge of the righteous, bane of the pious, torture of the nice, killer of peasants, cleaver of knights, slicer of queens, dicer of kings, <laughs> Raper of nuns, sodomizer of popes. Razor of villages, arsonist of cities, crumbler of castles, vandal of cathedrals, breaker of the sphinx's nose, bastard, tripper of horses, tipper of cows, slayer of small cute woodland creatures, spreader of plagues, kicker of crutches, pisser inner of holy water, ass wiper of rare paintings. Next page. Oh. Decapitator of clowns, disemboweler of tenors, fashion consultant for Marilyn Manson, pimp slapper of bitches, eater of skank. That's enough. How about weaknesses? Only one, and it's mint. The document I found in it goes back a thousand years. That's how they beat him at Constantinople, which of course is now Istanbul. The city actually has a fairly interesting history. The trouble began when the Holy Roman Empire cast its yes, eyes. Yes, that's excellent work, Cypher. Now stay here and maintain radio contact. Uh, Gabriel, what about me? Uh, what do I do? We are going to throw down with Duomer Thrax. We ride. Albrecht, sniff out the warehouse. Hold on, wait for him to lead. What, he can smell these things? Yes. That way. Don't. It's here. This is the warehouse. You... you have a warehouse on campus? Don't be stupid. We have a door to the warehouse on campus. Uh, I don't understand. We have thousands of doors all over the world leading to warehouses, but they're all the same warehouse. All Don't right. worry, I'll explain it inside. Albrecht, stand guard. Well, here we are. What? This is... this is the warehouse? This is just two doors and a wall. You really don't understand fourth and fifth dimensional physics. These doors can lead to any other room in the warehouse. Let me demonstrate. I want the mint closet. Oh my god. Here we are. And, and, and these doors just, they allow you to just open up to whatever you want to? Yes. Score cannons. Whoa. Jim. This one's for Albrecht. RM. Myself. G. Thanks. And that's how it works. Amazing. Can lead to anywhere. Okay, 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 let me try. I want to see 
jazz piano in downtown New York on a Friday evening. We don't have time. Come on, let's go get this ready. So, how's it going? All right. I could have asked for better, but just to do under these circumstances. You're the, you're the demon expert, right? I am. So what happens now? Well, now we wait for him to strike. Normally we wouldn't, but that seems best under these circumstances. So, what would we normally do? Normally, we'd go after him. But he hasn't changed location since we got here, since we discovered him. That's odd. Demons usually like to move around. It makes them harder to track, but Dwamerthax hasn't moved. That bugs me. Oh. We're set. All right, let's get back to the cipher. Dude, we fucking rock. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You know, um, I mean, isn't it obvious? I mean, we just, you know, um, we just kick ass. <laughs> Fuck yeah. If, if we had some chicks here, if we had chicks here, they would be so impressed. But, um, we don't have any chicks here. Um. We've we've never had chicks here. Um, Fuck. It's like we're just lonely bachelors, like sailors on the open ocean, and we're just separated from love. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother! Isn't that why we started drinking, man? Fuck yeah! <laughs> I I know what would cheer, cheer us up, man. <laughs> More drinking. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear you boys have been slogging down the little happy juice. Us? No, man, this this is a dry campus. Oh, so you haven't been drinking. So what's this this wine cooler doing here? No, man, this is, this is not, this is not a wine cooler. This is, um, um, this is our lava lamp. Um, you know, I mean, lo ooh, look at all the, the colors and, and the bubbles, man, <laughs> you know, and it, you know, it's groovy, man, it's funktastic. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> and what about this? Brandy. There's no two ways about it. Well, of, of course that's brandy. I mean, what, you know, what if it's cold and there's a freshman out in the hall and it's snowing and he's freezing to death and, um, you know, we give him the brandy and he's okay. You know, we use this brandy to save lives. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm confiscating your alcohol. And tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to write you up. It's my duty as a resident assistant. Shame on you for being drunk. Oh, um, we're not drunk, man. Um. <laughs> well, maybe just a little, little bit drunk. You guys are pathetic. <laughs> you aren't RA material at all. Dude. He sucks horse balls. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thought you could get away with your little evening inebriation, didn't you? Well, you would have if this diligent RA had been anyone else. 
Thank God for people like me. Think of yourself! I come into your dorm room every day and try to teach you about the good word. But when I get here, I see these rated PG-13 and rated R movies in your room. And I realize you're going to hell. How many times has that book been gone through human hands and translated and retranslated and reprogrammed to like fuck up your mind into believing don't that there's words like that. Holy Christ that is gonna save your ass from life. Okay. I my soul, not not my A word that you just used. Oh, okay, you're wait, going to hell. You can for that. pull things. You can go to pull anything. I'm not pulling out. anything out. You're pulling certain sections of the Bible out and using it for your own theology. What do you call that? That's hypocritical you're bullshit. You're being a hypocrite. You come up with all this damning and everything. Who gives you the right? How do you know? How do you because judge? Because God says so in this book. You're going to hell for looking at pornography. You're going to hell for being a homosexual. I enjoy beauty. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. So like, uh, I know in the Old Testament, you know, like, I wear polyester. So if I'm here mixed fabrics, I'm going to hell. Kind of like no, you no, no, are no, right no, no, now. No, no, you're taking this entirely out of context. Okay, where in the world are you getting this? I'm going to hell because I'm homosexual. It's quite simple. It's here in the good book. Good this book? is the ultimate hey, word. Man, watch where you're pointing the thing, okay? Okay, you're trying to tell me that every single thing in that book is true. Every last one, and if you don't think so, you're going to hell. I enjoy the beauty of a well-built body, and if you can't My handle brother, it... My brother, I forgive you. And God will forgive you too if you just seek out his forgiveness and repent for your sins. Then, you can go to heaven like I'm going. <laughs> if I'm wrong about going to heaven, May I be hideously murdered by some sort of demon? <laughs> Don't be too happy. I'm the equal opportunity killer. <laughs> I thought they'd never shut up. A track passenger train derailed when it hit a tractor driven by one agent. There's been at least five more murders Today, since you left. Did you get a lock on him? I had one for a while, but I lost the signal. Damn! How are we supposed to find him? He could be anywhere. This news anchor is about to be gorily slaughtered by an earth-walking demon. And now a partial score. Dwarmer Thrax the Indestructible, 15. Zero for the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch. Forecast tonight calls for death. <laughs> Where's the news studio? Uh, it, it's across campus. Cypher, maintain radio contact. We're going He's in the assembly. Hurting for a date. Shut up, Simon. Jim. Alright. Split up. Jim. Albrecht. RM. Chris, you're with me. Oh, come on, let's move. He demon, demon. Got a nice can of wood blast for you.
temple and the tower. They used to hold services here until they built the new church. Services? Yes. Religious services? And we'll be safe here.
Well? He's dead. The demon? Albert is dead. <sighs> Let's get back to Cypher. Boss, you there? Yes. Cypher? I've got something. Go ahead. What is it? You wondered why Dromorthrax has stayed in the same vicinity. Well, what did you find? I did a broadband ethereal scan of the region. There's an energy field surrounding the campus. What kind of energy field? It's equilibrium based. The outside is filled with despair, crime, and ignorance. And the inside with hope and intelligence? Hypocrisy and self-righteousness, actually. And a whole lot of arrogance. The loot, though! What? Uh, the loot dome. It's this half-believed, uh, it's this half-believed thing that, that there's this barrier that separates Parkland from the rest of the campus. Could it be that Dwamathrax can't leave the loot dome? That's what I'm thinking. Trapped in the loot dome. A fate worse than death. <sighs> so, how does he get out? It's equilibrium based, remember? There's an imbalance on either side that creates a barrier. All he has to do is make something equal on both sides and the barrier will break. Check the number of murders off campus as compared to Checking. The I've got it. And? Up until Dwamerthrax awoke, it was 21 outside, none inside. And how many is Dwamerthrax murdered? 16. Five more, and he shattered the imbalance and the barrier. Five more kills and the demon walks free. There aren't enough of us left to take him down. Backup call, it's on its way. Cypher, do another scan of the region, get a lock on his position. We've got to find him before he kills again. This can't be right. What is it? Now where is he? Well, according to the scan, he's right behind- Die! Die, Gargle Boy! I think we just lost the cipher. What are we gonna do now? You ask that a lot. I cut the chatter, Silent Jim. Let's see. He needs four more to walk. Four of us. Of course. He'd go out of his way to make our desk the one that freed him. He'd do that just to piss us off. But if he's coming after us? Then we can set the battlefield. Chris, I need a map of campus. Well, how about that one? How convenient. We need a place we can effectively wall off. Some place we can lure Dromorthrax in, close the circle, and then... We can kill him? If we're lucky. Here. This is the place. Oh! All right, Chris, you and I are going to set up barricades there, there, and there. Silent Jim, RM, I want you to go into those two buildings, uh, seal them up, do whatever you need to do. We're going to lure Dwarmer Cracks into this circle. We don't want him coming on us unexpectedly. Let's move. Oh, wait, Jim. I need a few supplies. Altoids. All right, uh, mint floss. Swig of Listerine. Um, can I, uh, uh, get the mint floss barricade? Meow! Ah, there we go. Chris, grab the other pole. Okay? Come on. Alright, Silent Jim, stay in touch. Just follow the sound of my voice. Alright, then after that I'm going to want to put the crushed mint on some sort of tarp maybe over there. Maybe make some sort of a fall trap for it. Alright guys, I want you to secure the buildings, check all the exits, all the doorknobs, spray mint on everything, on windowsills. Put mint on the toilet seat, I don't know if demons shit, but if they do, we're gonna get him in the ass. Alright, come on, move. Right.
What are you looking at? In these areas, uh, I'll just dispense it from the gun. I'm going to put a mint floss line between these two trees. I was thinking about those trees also. Is there anything else you can think of? Uh, no, but uh, what can I do? Well, take these Altoids, okay, and place down the tarp and cover them. All right, Silent Jim, RM. Hang on, there's something I want to check out. Get back here now. Just one minute. I'll call if I need you. Nice camouflage job. Thanks. Find anything? There's nothing here. Must have been my imagination. Must have! She's all washed up! He's in there. The demon? We've secretly replaced Silent Jim's mint mixture with new cobbler's crystals. Let's see if he notices the difference. What the fuck? Is this coffee? Stay here. Uh, corral off all the exits. Okay.
fingers. Not just yet. Oh! Hey! Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that! I'm sorry. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. We're hunting a demon. A demon? Yes. He's been running around campus killing people. We're trying to trap him in here. Really? Yes. How many people has he killed? I think 18 or 19. I'm not sure. It's 19. Okay. Yeah. And, oh, it's it's terrible. He's got these sharp, pointy teeth and pointy teeth and, he's, and, and, he, and these these and huge these huge ears. ears right, yeah. Right? And he's got this. And he's got, he's got the nose that slopes down and the yeah. and the big pointy chin. And yeah. His, his face is all red with uh -huh. purple chevrons and. Does he look something like this? <laughs> Shit, he can regenerate. Tricks of the trade, boys. Dying time, boys! <laughs> We're doomed! Unless the purple ninja, the greatest <laughs> demon hunter of them all! Come on! You are wonderful. Ah, no, I am. Why are you smiling? Because I know something that you don't. What is that? I am not attended. Ah! I am not attended either. Ah! Ah! That was incredible. Of course it was! <laughs> You're very, very fast and good. Going to see how fast I really am. <laughs> sure, okay. All right. Take this penny. Put it oh. in hand. Okay. Now, I will pull it out of your hand before you can close hand. Ready? Okay. Go. <laughs> I still have the penny. Ah, but you do not have your pants! <laughs> Damn! Wow! Wow, that's ninja-rific! <laughs> what else can you do well? 
I know seven different forms of martial arts. I know the crane, the monkey, the jungle, 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 the jungle, 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 ah! the sweeper, the sweeper. Oh, ha, ha. I see in all directions. I am oblivious to nothing. No one sneak up on Robin Ninja. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt even more. Oh, I'm... <laughs> the purple ninja is dead. That can't be. The purple ninja never loses. Consider his streak broken. Game point, boy. <laughs> Listen, you virulent sack of monkey shit. What are you doing? Just watch. Why are you talking to me? Who else is here, colostomy face? <laughs> you are one snatchy looking hole bag, you twisted jack hole. I am gonna kill you so slow. I'd like to see you try, you whip dick moose fucker. Come on. Wow. Have you ever heard that one before? No, but I think I'm gonna write it down. Let's get a pen. Oh, yeah. Bianch, bizanch, biznatch. That's you. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. This grass smells like me! <laughs> you did it! He's dead! Thank God. I was running out of insults. God, that was incredible. That? I do that all the time. Huh. Don't worry about him getting back up. He is absolutely dead. <laughs> morning comes, we'll go to the nearest safe house. We'll send word that we've defeated the demon. The price we paid for it. Was it worth it? Well, we saved, uh, Parkland, didn't we? I guess so. There's still something that bothers me, though. What's that? Duomar Thrax only needed one more kill to shatter the loot dome, right? Yeah, but we killed him before he could get it, right? Well, that's what bothers me. Well, what if the loot dome is broken? He needed 21 dead, right? Yes. 20 dead mortals and one dead demon makes 21. What? I'm saying maybe victory wasn't as complete as we thought. Maybe Dwamarthrax wanted us to kill him. What's that? You... Nothing. Nothing. Well, now that the demon's dead, I suppose you'll be starting your classes again. <laughs> Are you kidding? There's nothing for me left here. God, my girlfriend's been killed by a demon. How am I going to explain that to her parents? There's no way I can concentrate on my accounting major after all this has happened. Well, it looks like you need something to do. Would you like yeah. to join us? After this, we're in sore need of some demon hunters, and you've proved you have what it takes. You want me to join you? Yes. Fuck no! I, ah! Okay. What do I do? What do you do? What do we do? We ride. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Look at me. Come on. 
choice if I had the gumption Would be present at every function What's gonna be your place or mine? You got the love and I got the time well, I'm making all the best scenes in the magazines Got my very own TV show Talking like a big nigga Getting all the tricks sometimes Being low Playing as I can't complain of being no soul.